A20 stealth fighter has been in various stages of development for roughly a decade. And while we don't know exactly how well it will perform in combat against the US F-22 or F-35 stealth fighters or even the Russian Su-57 or the soon-to-be Su-75, it seems that it draws inspiration from them. The J-20 was the world's first non-American stealth platform to enter operational service, effectively ending Uncle Sam's 34-year monopoly on low observability that stretched into 1983. By the time the J-20 entered service, it was a lot of both. The United States and Russia accused the People's Republic of China of stealing their stealth fighter designs to speed up their own jets. Of course there is evidence and historical precedent to back up this claim, but the J-20 doesn't look exactly like the other fifth-generation entries. That's probably not because the J-20 is a completely original design. Perhaps because the J-20 stole elements from at least three different fighter programs, as a few quick examples, China's Chengdu J-10 is directly based on intelligence purchased by China from Israel in the 1980s for the defunct Lavi fighter, which is based on the American F-16. China's Shenyang J-11 and subsequent J-16s were both based on the Soviet Su-27 production line that China bought in 1989. The Soviets didn't want to sell it to China, but their economic desperation at the time forced their hands. The Shenyang J-15 China's current main carrier-based fighter, is also based on the Russian platform, the Su-33, but they did not get it from Russia. When Moscow refused to provide the Chinese government with plans for the aircraft, Beijing only purchased a prototype fighter from Ukraine, then known as the D-10K-3, and simply reverse-engineered it. There are of course other examples, as well as examples from other industries. China has long understood that, in order to compete with and ultimately overtake the most capable military power on the planet, it must quickly match capabilities. The most cost-effective way to do this, whether we're talking tactics for carrier strike groups or designs for air superiority fighters, isn't starting from scratch, 